hi guys so at coder beginner contest 2017 just finished and i participated in that contest so in this like video i will be discussing how to solve the problem e of that contest so the problem e is sorting queries and uh, in this problem like uh, we have been initially we have an empty sequence a and we will be given q queries and like uh, these q queries should be pros processed in the order in which they are given so each query is of three type so the first query will contain like two numbers so it uh, will first have a number one and then it will have a number x and uh, you need to append x to the end of a if uh, after processing this query and there will be a query which will be indicated by a number two and uh, when this query will be received we need to like print the beginning element of the array a and uh, we need to delete the beginning element of array a after this operation and uh, the third query is to like sort the array a into the ascending order so the queries will be like uh, yeah so there will be at max 2 to uh, 2, to in, 2 into 10 to the power 5 queries and the number that will be appended into the empty sequence will uh, range from 0 to 10 to the power 9 and uh, a will not be empty when a uh, query 2 is given because like uh, if a will be empty when query 2 is given like uh, we uh, we can't uh, print anything because there is no element in a and uh, we are required to print the beginning beginning of the a so this is the format of the input format so yeah so how we should we solve this problem so like uh, if we will be doing a trivial thing like do using a brute force approach so what we'll be doing will be like appending x to the uh, we'll be maintaining a vector and uh, we'll be appending x when this first query will be given and uh, when second will be given we will be printing out the first element and when third will be given we will be sorting the whole vector so like uh, this these two like uh, these two queries will take order one but uh, like this third query will take n log n for sorting the vector and uh, like uh, they uh, there may be total 2 into 10 power 5 queries of type 3 in the worst case so like uh, we won't be able to like it it won't be able to pass the, all the test cases so it will give us the end. so how should we approach the problem so like uh, the the like key to solve this problem is uh, in this uh, statement that we are only required to print the beginning of a so like we don't need to sort the whole vector so which approach we can uh, use to get the minimum of a lot of numbers so we can use a min min priority right and uh, yeah so i'll be implementing this so first let us understand how we will be using a min priority queue to find like solve this problem so the reason is uh, the problem is that whenever we are sorting the array after the query 3 like uh, if all the elements are present inside the suppose we have a min priority queue so this min priority queue will like always re return the minimum element of all the elements present inside it so if all the elements will be present inside this priority queue like it will always return the minimum element so after uh, the third query we can like uh, yeah, yeah let me uh, explain it in the two ways so like uh, i say that uh, i'll be implementing this sequence a with the help of a query uh, yeah priority queue and a simple queue so whenever i will be asked to just just push a element to the back append an element i'll be pushing it into the simple queue normal queue so 
if I am pushing it in the normal queue, like the minimum element present in this priority queue won't be affected because it is not inside it. And uh, whenever there will be a simple append statement, I will keep pushing them inside this simple queue. And uh, whenever like uh, I'll be asked to return the minimum, whatever the elements will be present inside this priority queue at that uh, instant, like we can easily retrieve the minimum one and we can remove the minimum one after this uh, after that query but uh, when we are asked to sort the whole sequence then we uh, we can do one thing we can take all the elements present inside the buffer and push it in this priority queue so now like uh, after pushing all these elements inside the priority queue whenever we will uh, be doing the priority queue dot top then we will be getting the minimum element of the whole sequence. So it will act like it is sorted. So this is the basic approach and uh, the like in the worst case, like uh, every element will like every element will be transferred from this queue to this queue at most one time. So like uh, there won't be any like there will, will be only 10 to the power 5 whatever it be is the number of queries yeah so there will be at most 2 into 10 to the power 5 transfers from this queue to this priority queue and uh, in every priority queue operation the if i i am denoting this number as n then the there will be at most n tra transfers from this operation uh, this this normal queue to this priority queue so the overall this overall operation will take n log n time right and uh, when we are appending a element of while processing the type one we are just doing an order one operation so that this is o log n And when we are getting or uh, taking the minimum of the whole sequence by taking the top of the this priority queue, then we are doing a log n operation. So the overall time complexity is order of n log n. It should be bigger. So this implementation is sufficient to pass all the test cases. So let us implement this so first we will be reading the number of queries now we will be processing all the queries and uh, first we need to take the input of type and uh, if the type is one yeah so first we need to declare the priority queue and the normal queue that we will be using so I can declare it and I will make it a priority queue which will be returning the minimum using this declaration. So I will rename I will name this priority queue as sorted even if uh, even after like the elements present inside is not sorted but like it will behave as if it is sorted because we can easily uh, like retrieve the lowest element out of this and we can uh, like uh, whenever we will push any any element inside it we will be able to always retrieve the lowest element and uh, I will declare a normal queue and I will call it buffer yeah so just in case the type is one so we need to append the element to the end of the sequence. So I will be taking the value as input. And now we can push it to the end of the buffer. And uh, yeah. So the next pos possibility is when the type is 2. 
So if the type is 2, we need to return the minimum. So there may be it may be possible that uh, at some instant this credit queue is empty and it has got some elements. And at that uh, time, if we are asked to return the minimum, we can easily like this this element will be minimum in that case because at that time it is not sorted. So we can if we can check whether it is minim, uh, it is empty or not. So if it will be empty, we'll be taking one element from this queue, from the front of this queue, and push it in this priority. Queue. So if the sorted is empty, then we can push the front of the buffer and we will be also popping that element from the buffer now we need to return the minimum so we can do c out and uh, The minimum can be accessed by using sorted or top and yeah just we need to make sure that we are popping the element so this will do the type 2 query and uh, now we need to handle the type 3 query so in that query like we need to push every element present inside this queue into this priority queue so we can use a while loop so while the queue is not empty so we have named the queue as buffer so while the buffer is not empty we need to push the push every element of the buffer in the sorted particular so it should yeah so we need to pop the element from the buffer after pushing it into the sorted particular yeah so this code is sufficient to pass all the test cases so let us try to run it in this output. Yeah, so let's erase it so that we can know the yeah. So we can try to submit it. So we can submit it. So I have now submitted the file. Yeah, so we got AC. Thank you guys.